Hi Virgo, this is your bonus reading for March 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for March 2022. In love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for March 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of virgo for march 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Virgo. Virgo, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Virgo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Virgo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For March 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Virgo, is the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the devil for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the devil for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, listen, you know, someone may very, may, really? Someone may very well be tempted here, okay, with this connection. Could also tell me that it's toxic in this connection. We'll find out. But it could also be that, hey, we want to solidify this connection here. Maybe go into a legal binding contract. Or maybe there's some type of obsession. Virgo, you have yourself the queen of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles. You have the six of wands. Your partner has... The Knight of Pentacles. Your partner has the five of the seven of cups. Really? <laughs> and your partner has the sun. So, Virgo. The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is listen, very well could be tempted because of our connection. Could also be toxic, something may be going on in the connection. However, someone may want to go into a legal binding contract and solidify our connection here, okay? You know, could also be that... Something else I wanted to say is... <laughs> Anyway, it's this connection, okay? We'll see. Virgo, listen, you have the Queen of Cups. I mean, where am I? 
am I on earth? You have the queen of pentacles. This is you, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So, Virgo, this is you. Uh -huh. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Virgo. What about Virgo? What about Virgo? Clarify the queen of pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Virgo, listen, you guys may have had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Very well could be some form of mind games and manipulation. Or Virgo, you're pissed and you have an X to grind here. Why though? Virgo, you have the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Virgo, yeah, you can tell me you're independently abundant on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can tell me you're single here. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. Now, Virgo, listen. You guys may already have this commitment or stability between you and you're wanting to become single. But Virgo, you could also be questioning that maybe I no longer want to be single and I want to go into a commitment and solidify our relationship. So who is the battle with? Because you are you may be in battle with someone, but who is it with? It may not be with this partner. It, it may be with someone else over this partner. We'll see. Virgo, you have the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Virgo, listen, you could be getting this partner's attention. They could be getting yours. You know, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something. But Virgo, when we're dealing with the Six of Wands, this can also be an announcement being made here. Clarify the Six of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Six of Wands. For Virgo, clarify the Six of Wands. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Virgo, you're feeling a sense of betrayal here because something was brought to your attention or you began to recognize something here. So you're hurt and you may be suited for battle here with something. So Virgo, listen, is it toxic here in you guys' connection? Is it toxic because someone has a connection with someone else? We'll see. But there is a betrayal here and you're pissed. Are you home alone now, Virgo? I would want to be home alone, Virgo. Your partner has the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck 
So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So everything is at a screeching halt here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgos, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgos, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgos, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that everything is slowed down because they are waiting on money. Maybe so that we can have this home, this stability, you know, go into this commitment. However, your partner could tell me, yes, you guys are stagnant, but they're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Virgo, your partner has a seven of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're all up in their head fantasizing. Your partner could tell me that there's a bit of confusion here, okay? Something is kind of cloudy or hazy. Your partner could tell me that there was lies and illusions, or someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the seven. Clarify the seven of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the seven of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the seven of cups for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Virgo could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something. I want to take this leap of faith. I want to set out on this brand new journey. Or your partner saying someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Virgo's partner. Clarify the fool for Virgo's partner. Clarify the fool for Virgo's partner. Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. Now, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're weighing things up, trying to decide here on whether or not they should just take this leap of faith here, okay? They're confused, needing to make a choice. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Take this leap. Maybe going into commitment here. Right now, we're at a standstill. However, your partner could tell me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. And it very well may be them wanting to just up and do something and take some type of risk juggling with these other options here. It's a reason why you're pissed. You're not pissed for no reason. There was a betrayal here. Is this person trying to just throw your mind completely off of commitment? And they doing any little random thing that they can think about. Any, anything, anything will do. Like they're already on hold over here thinking, but are they getting ready to deal with other people to just really take your mind off of it instead of being, you know, a man or a woman or someone of integrity and just say, listen, I'm just not ready right now. Um, I, I, I just, I think we're rushing, you know, instead of saying those words, they just doing stuff to make you just have a bitter taste in your mouth about commitment with them. Virgo. Your partner has a son. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. Now your partner can tell me that they're happy or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. 
Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Virgo, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make a move here. Clarify the chariot. For Virgo's partner, clarify the chariot for Virgo's partner, clarify the chariot for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Virgo, listen, your partner could be sending out love messages and an apology. They could be receiving love messages and an apology. We could be finding love messages and hearing the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced. Because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Virgo's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo's partner. Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious just a little paranoid here. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent and coming in to apologize to you and, you know, because wanting to move forward, wanting to be happy, but they want to apologize here. But Virgo, I feel like your partner is guarding something. I feel like there's love messages coming into your partner and they're happy and they're moving forward with it. Like I said, I just feel like this person is purposely stalling things with you and also doing things to make you forget about having some type of commitment or stability with them. When it comes to having this commitment or stability, they want to stall. They want to wait. They want to think. They just want to want things on hold. Meanwhile, they're getting ready to do something here. They're looking at their options, juggling here. So they could be getting love messages from someone else, moving forward, happy, but they're guarding it from you. But you found out something, and there was a betrayal here, and you're pissed. I feel like all of this is designed to get your mind off of this sentence right here. Virgo, yeah, you might have a soulmate connection with this person, but it's toxic. It's toxic in, in many ways. It's toxic because they're being very manipulative. And it's toxic because they're dealing with other people. Virgo, this is your bonus reading for March 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.